Hey, welcome back to the print house, guys. Um, I have to apologize. I've been kind of kind of quiet for a little bit. I've been sick for the past week and a half now. Um, it was scary because I thought it was uh, coronavirus again. And if you guys know my story, um, if corona, uh, corona just got busy. I was admitted to the hospital, almost died, all that fun stuff. So I got scared. Anyways, took a test. I was fine. I just got an upper respiratory infection. Pretty bad. So um, I'm on the meds now. I'm getting a bit better. Um, actually, a lot better since Monday. So um, anyways, back to doing some videos. I just didn't want to. I wanted to do a couple of videos, but I, I just couldn't speak well. My, you can probably hear it in my voice now. It just sounds terrible. So anyways, let me uh, get right into it. So we're talking about grommets today, guys, uh, for making banners. Now, a lot of you know, I have my trusty blue table press here, which is awesome, 100% awesome. The best $80 I've ever bought, this one. Um, links in the description. Um, we have one at work, works well, I love it. It's, we've been using it for years. So um, I've had this one now since I started down here, a uh, year and a half or something like that now, a little bit longer. And it's great, I love it. Um, it works great, flawless every time. I've never had a problem. Um, the grommets that come with it, the, the washer parts are a little bit flimsier, um, but it works 100% fine for single layer. I do a lot of single layer grommeting because I don't fold my, my edges unless it's an outside banner. So if I have to do only a single layer, where, you know, I'm talking about this, where it's just one piece not folded over like that, you know what I mean? Um, usually you do, you, you fold your edges or you hem them when you're doing outside banners. Anything indoor, you do not need them. And personally, I think they look sloppier. If you're gonna do them indoor, don't do it because you if you're not gonna hem them, they're not they're just gonna look crappy with the tape behind it and it's you don't want it. So um, unless you're actually sewing them, you know, I would never do an indoor banner uh, without that because you know it doesn't need it doesn't need the strength like if it had wind blowing on it. All right, so anyways, what I'm talking about today is, as you saw in the title, I bought a handheld one to go along with my, my table press. And the main reason is um, I had a banner up and I didn't want to take it down because it was all tied up. So I was trying, I wanted to add some uh, grommets for hooks for something that I'm doing, right? And um, I didn't want to take it down and tie it and bring it in, put it back on the table. It was just too much of a hassle. I picked up one of these, and I'm not going to say the price because it always changes, but the link it will be in my description. And I wanted one. This is the second pair I bought. The first pair I bought, I didn't like the washers. They were too small. Uh, it came with the dies, perfect size. This is a number two die, I believe. So, um, But what I'll do is I'll talk about this one, do a quick demo. Um, so let's compare the grommet finish, right? Okay, so if you look on the right here, that's done with the hand and the one in the middle is done with my press and there's some good there's one thing better about these or the washers it uses over that one i'll tell you in a second so look in the back here see this is the one done with the blue, blue grommet press and this is the handheld one so the grommets that come with the handheld one guys they're a lot they're, they're first of all they're you don't have the, uh, as big as flange as you do as you do like on the other ones. Can't focus that. Anyways, so when you when you press these on, they actually are thicker and I want to say more rigid, more strong. I mean, they're, they're definitely, they feel good. Now, don't get me wrong. The other ones feel just as fine too. But as a single layer, as a single layer doing these, it's got some good depth to them and they feel really good. There is one con I'm going to show you. Um, that you will get that I, I it's hard to get away from and i'll explain that so anyways this is the blue grommet press and this is the handheld one i believe this is the handheld one too you can tell by the size of the washer in the back so yeah the washers itself are a better quality back backing the the tops you know these part are the same they're, they're the same actually these won't even stick see it won't even stick the magnet doesn't even hold these so it might not even be nickel, who knows? Not sure exactly the full material, but like that, that these work with a mag, these are magnetized, these dies, okay? Well, it's supposed to be. Anyways, 
it sticks onto this one okay. Now, it may be magnetized. It's just a different the way it, it, the, the shape of it doesn't stick well on that die. But you can see it sticks on this one. See? It stays on there. So, the way you work with these handheld ones... Well, let me just go back a, a second here again. All right. So, what I did was when I was hanging the, the banner, when I was going to do that banner, it's hanging. And I'm like, okay, I got to find a way to, to do put a grommet in it without taking it down. You know? And then I'm like, well... These are cheap. I believe it was under 30 bucks or just about 30. I'm not going to tell you exactly. It's going to change. And I'm like, okay, well, that's still a good price because I, even it's a, back, a good backup too. You know what I mean? Um, I got big, strong hands. I'm not going to lie. So, but I did find when I when it, when I went into the crunch, I used both hands just to get it to seal it really well. Okay. So, otherwise, you could get away with it just doing that. You know, if, if you're a woman, you don't have strong green hands. You know, you you definitely got room to snap two hands on there all right so let's go ahead and put the ground i'm not going to demo the blue one obviously you guys have seen that one so i'll put the top one on stays on put the bottom one you know there's there's a way to put these on the rough side up on these usually the smooth down that's how most of them are anyways so if you do as you can see it hold that magnet will hold the top and the bottom in really well so you see that didn't fall out top and the bottom did not fall out I'm going to go ahead and just show you right now, put it on, okay, I'll go a little bit further down. So I'm just going to go like this, I'm going to do one hand to show you. Like I said, I got strong hands, okay, works with one hand, no problem. Now I went ahead and just used two hands, you know, it may, may have made a difference, may have not. All right, so the bad. The cons to these grommets, or this type of, of, of grommet. So if you look at the, the dial motion of it, see how the, the, the die is on an angle here? It's It comes in like that. So what, what happens with that, if you're going to do grommets on the edge, what you're going to get or see is a little bit of a wrinkle on the edge there. See that? You're going to get that. Now, if it's a big deal to you, it's, it's not a big deal to me. Um, but that's just because it's closer to the edge. The further away, you won't get that. So that's the only con that I know, this one versus the blue one. Um, the blue one obviously has a straight vertical die, so it's straight, it's 100% vertical coming down. There's no angle that you see like on that one, okay? So the link will be in the description for this one. I always recommend this one. Um, this thing is beef. Guys, it doesn't, you, it's not mounted at a table. It takes a little bit of pressure. Um, anybody could run that one. It's uh, this is a great one. I really like this one. I like the design of it. Um, I've heard a lot. I've seen a lot of those green ones that have that. They're so they're weird. They break if you've dropped them. I mean, I can't imagine any cast, you know, steel these like breaking. But I mean, I guess they do if they're if they're a weak steel. If it's just the casting's crap, you know, it may. Anyways, I've never dropped it. You, you, you know, it's not a normal thing to drop these. Um, if you have a dedicated table, you could mount it screws in the corners so but that's just a demo on this handheld one um i like it i definitely like it because i was able it, like you saw the grommets didn't fall out right i like being able to go up in the air and add the grommets you know while it was hanging they didn't fall out and i can just go boom so really nice to have plus it's a good backup if i uh run out of washers got some on order whatever um which would be pretty hard to do since I have thousands of them. So um, I have gone through 1,500 grommets since I started this uh, endeavor down here. So, I mean, you do use them for sure. And I did a lot of testing in the beginning, playing around with them. But either one of these work great for single-layer single, single layer banner. This is a 13-ounce banner. Um, this is an Ultraflex. So um, no problem with a single layer. So that's about it, guys. I just wanted to do a quick video on that, um, about this grommet. And I have another video that's uploading. It's about this uh, tracing, uh, um, I won't say tablet, but this tracing pad, a light pad. So keep an eye out for that. It's pretty interesting. It's pretty cool because you can use it for pulling vinyl and stuff like that. So, But again, this was just a little video on, and review on these uh, handheld grommet press, let's call it. All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe, hit that notification. Again, thanks to all my members who have joined my channel. Um, and if anybody wants to see anything, you guys just hit me up in the comments. Um, 
But most importantly, like the videos, guys. You can even share them. If, you, if it's something useful, share them around. I do nothing but, you know, honest, pretty much unedited. I don't do a lot of editing um, to my videos. Um, I just... I just like to show what I'm using just to help people because I get so many questions. So it's just sometimes easier to just do a video on it. So, but that's about it, guys. So, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, hit that notification. And, uh, Ken, the print house, we'll see you in the next video.